What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chad Nahal Oleva. This is the Lone Star Hawaiian Garage and this is my 2007 Silverado. Please don't ask why my truck is looking like this right now. We're in the middle of filming another video and I totally screwed up. So uh, we put that one on pause until I figure out what I'm doing with it and we're going to work on something else. I had two things planned for this. One you'll see after the release of this video. The second is in regards to a lot of your comments. For some reason, you guys really hate chrome. One of my most popular comments on all my videos is, hey, get rid of the chrome on your front grill, get rid of the chrome on your front bumper. So we're gonna try to appease the crowd a little bit and see what we can do different. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of chrome myself. I've gotten rid of chrome wheels that came on the truck several years ago when I bought it. I replaced them with the Moto Metal 962, gloss black with milled accents. I think they look perfect. So what we're doing today is a little editing. We're gonna change this up a little bit. Hopefully you guys like it, hopefully I like it because I honestly don't know how this is gonna turn out. So let's get right to it. All right, so first things first, when I pulled my front grill off when I was working on my other video, I broke a tab. It was destined to happen. I don't know what I did different, but for some reason, this plastic tab completely sheared off as I pulled it off. I need to get a plastic welder to be honest but uh, I hope that epoxy is gonna hold up for now. And as you guys probably know, with plastic, over time, it begins to fade. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing, is gonna be tedious, it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna scuff this up and clean it up real nice, tape everything off, and we're gonna spray a coat of gloss black. The plastic's a mess, so we got some alcohol, we got some chrome polish, we got some 800 grit sandpaper for the plastic. We're gonna prep all that up, and then we'll see you guys in a few hours. Alright guys, after some fun hours of polishing on the chrome and uh, cleaned up the plastic real good and I would like to thank Walmart for sponsoring this video with their 15 cent plastic bags. We are finally ready to throw some black paint on the grill. Uh, let's take this outside and spray it down with the first coat. Just as an FYI, what we're using to spray is this Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Enamel. This is a gloss black. We have tested this before. Spraying on plastic can go either way. I put a coat on this piece here, this plastic piece, and it's been several months. So several months later, it hasn't chipped, hasn't faded. So hopefully we'll get the same results on that front grill piece. All right, you guys, a few hours has passed and the first coat should be completely dry. And some of the cracks and the hard to reach spots didn't get a good coat on it so we're gonna put a second coat of paint on here and then let it dry fully oh that could have been bad all right so while that grill is drying I'm gonna answer a quick question that I get pretty regularly on all the videos. So, the bow ties currently on the truck are flat black. A lot of people ask what I did with the bow ties. Did I wrap it? Did I replace it? Is it a sticker? To be honest, it was a leftover can of Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip. It's a flat black Plasti Dip. I simply just sprayed it on there and it's been on there for over a year and it's held up just fine. The only problem I did have with it when I wanted to take it off it took forever. I still have a few pieces on the edges I really got to scrub off, but the reason I have this off is we're changing it up. We're going to put the gold portion of the Chevy emblem the same color that's going on the front grill, but on the edge where it is black currently, we're going to paint that the same color as the truck. So it'll be a nice contrast, a nice matching color. So we're going to work on that right now. I need to clean this up completely, scuff it up a little bit, make sure the paint sticks to it, and then we're going to tape it off and paint this black portion a dark Ming blue metallic. Alright 
right, this one should be all dry now. Let's see how this turned out. All right, guys, that turned out very well. I'm actually really pleased with that. So that looks like new. So next up is the chrome. All right, guys, this is what we're working with. We have this chrome front piece on my front bumper. We also have a chrome front grille. We're gonna get rid of some of this chrome by utilizing this gloss black wrap from Vivint, and this is how we're gonna do it. The front chrome bumper is going to be full gloss black. And if this truck were a white, a gray, a silver, we would then wrap the entire front grille. But because this is such a dark blue, I can't black out the entire front end. It'll just look goofy. So what we're gonna do, and I don't know how this is really gonna look or turn out or executionally, if this is even going to work, but these flat portions of my grill are going to be gloss black. Around the edges and tucked in here, this will remain chrome. So it'll give us a little bit of an accent of chrome while also giving us that gloss black look. Continuing from this gloss black plastic up to the gloss black front bumper, tied into the grill. And then also if you look at some of the accents around the truck, the headlamps, we have chrome pieces in here. When you look at the wheels, the wheels are gloss black with milled accent. The chrome will tie in nicely there. Looking at the Silverado emblem, this is gonna remain chrome. And then lastly, here's some of the idea with it. We have a black bow tie and then a chrome accent on the edge. So essentially, that's the idea. How it's gonna work out, I'm not 100% sure yet. This would be the second time I wrap anything, so it could be interesting. So without further ado, let's get to work. Two hours later. What you doing, dude? Well guys, I just spent the last two and a half hours tearing apart the house, trying to find what I ordered. I knew it was in the house, I knew it was somewhere, so I tore apart the entire house trying to find it never found it and then my wife looked for 30 seconds and found it but we finally have my knifeless tape which is exactly what i was looking for and then i'm gonna run that knifeless tape on this edge here lay the wrap on top of it and then we'll use that to cut that fine line so let's take this inside this is going to take a little while but get be very meticulous with it so let's start up on this bad boy We are finally here. The grill is just about ready to go. The knifeless tape has been laid amongst the edge. It really did not want to go around corners. As you can see there, the masking tape is holding it down. This has no flex to it. So we did the corners as best we could. So from here, we're gonna prepare the surface. We're gonna lay the vinyl, cut it to size, and then we'll finally apply the vinyl. This is gonna be the fun part. We're done. All right, you guys, the wrap is laid. I am getting a little better at this. When I did the roof of the truck, it took me like an entire week. This took me a few hours. A normal installer would laugh at this because this would take them about five minutes because it's really simple. But it took me forever because around the edges, it started getting bunched up. I had to figure out how to get it out and all that fun stuff. But it's down, it's done. It's time to pull the knifeless tape. So let's go ahead and pull the tape off and then we'll see where we are from there. So what we have here is a pretty dang good cut. That knifeless tape actually worked really, really well, except for me being stupid here and trying to pull the wrong end out and created a rough edge. So I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife, clean that up a little bit. But what we also have here is my bow tie. I color matched that with the truck. So that's blue, it's got a coat of base and two coats of clear on it. We're now gonna wrap this gold portion, gloss black, matching this, and then we'll reinstall that bow tie there and that's gonna look pretty dang good. So 
We'll leave you guys there. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and then we'll be back to test fit this on the truck and I think this is gonna look really good. All right, you guys, welcome back. It's another great day and it's another great late afternoon. Everything is wrapped, everything is sealed. It's still dirty, but we reinstalled the bow tie. So the grill's pretty much done. What's your guys' first impressions? What do you think this is gonna look like on the truck? I still really don't know. I threw it on the last night, but what we're working on now and our next step is this piece. So it's time to wrap this chrome piece on the bumper. This one should be a lot easier than the grill. Let's go ahead and move this truck back a little bit. That way we have a little more room to work with. And then we're gonna get to wrapping this bumper. guys everything is trimmed up tucked away and this is finally done the bumper is gloss black it looks fantastic i really like the way this turned out this can be a wrap for tonight as far as we can go so far i don't want to bolt everything back up have to take it back off to replace the headlamps we have that solution coming in hopefully by tomorrow so if that comes in tomorrow we can pop those in finish up the grill get the bow tie back on and then finally do a finished reveal for you guys and then the following video a few days after will be of the issue we went through the headlamps and the solution for the headlamps. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back once again. We're back in the garage and I'm hoping today's the day we finish all of this up. So first things first, it has been an entire day. Let's see if... We have finally figured out what we're doing with those front headlamps. Those are done, those are dealt with. You'll see that in the next video. Let's get back to the front grill. Let's get this reinstalled and finally get a full look at what this front end will look like with that gloss black wrap. This will complete the entire front end. All right, guys, here is the finished product, the gloss black on the front grille and bumper. Really ties in the whole front. So we have the black backing on the headlamps, comes all the way across the front and all the way down. And we have obviously the stock color blue here. Really happy the way this turned out. I was kind of worried, to be honest, if this is gonna be way too much black, but I think these chrome accents really broke up all this black here to make it really work. So there is the gloss black grill. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm really happy about it. And what's cool about this project, guys, it only took me about 25 bucks to do all of this. The wrap, the knifeless tape, I had old paint laying around. It doesn't take a lot of money to be doing this stuff. That's what I wanna showcase. You just gotta get creative, get intuitive, and do things that make you uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable wrapping things. I am by no means a professional. I'm far from good, but I'm getting better because I'm putting myself in those situations which I'm wrapping something that's valuable to me, which is my truck. So that being said, make your car, make your truck, make your Silverado your own, make it unique and take some pride in your work. Get out there, do things that make you uncomfortable and you'll gain those skill sets eventually. So I hope you guys like that front end because I really do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button below. Consider subscribing to the channel. Be part of the Lone Star Hawaiian family. Stay tuned to the next video where we're talking about these headlamps and uh, what we did to correct uh, what I screwed up. 
With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Aloha. Until next time, enjoy the ride.